legit lovely welcome back to the channel so before we get into today's video i want to quickly mention as i mentioned in every video that if you guys aren't already using my supporter creator code legit lovely in the fortnite item shop doing so really does help me out and i would greatly appreciate it also it does expire every two weeks so make sure that if you go on an item shop and you don't have either my code or somebody else's code in the top right corner that you enter it preferably mine but there are other smaller creators that could use your help you can view a list of all approved creators and enter whichever code you want but my code is legit lovely so let's get right into today's video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my top four lots in the sims 3 that are custom content so i use a lot of cc lots and i have like Four that I use very very often that are very very common for me to use and are definitely my top four favorites so what I'm going to do is showcase them on the posts that they were in whether it be on TSR or Tumblr or whatever site they were found on then I'm going to show you guys them in game and I'm also going to leave the links to each of the four lots in the description below so you guys can download them and have them for yourself so the first lot that is my favorite favorite lot is the Anemone House by Aquarheen on Sims Resource um, it does a really good job with the preview on TSR, but I am still going to go into game and show you guys what it looks like. It's a very small house, but it's very, like, rustic, and it has fairy lights, and it has wooden textures, and I just really, really love it. So I'm going to go into game and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the Anemone House looks like in-game. Like I said, it is quite tiny. I'm also using a random, like, create a sim world that's very very empty so keep in mind that the landscaping will go good with landscaped worlds uh the terrain doesn't blend in with other terrains but you can always fix that up uh it has the stone decals like stepping stones you have a little area over here like a little patio let's go down to the main floor like i said it's very rustic it's very like fairy like between the lights and you know the grass textures and everything it's just really really cute it's very simple and it is playable a lot of the houses that i play with uh aren't playable because i just take pictures in the sims 3 for my sims Instagram. but this house is playable it doesn't have too much clutter it has just the right amount for it to be playable we have the bathroom over here first bedroom little stairwell and then the second bedroom what i like is how just consistent the theme of the house is it's just very very cute and while I'm not ranking these top fours um, in themselves in this video, this is probably my number one favorite house in The Sims 3 that I have downloaded that is custom content. So let's get right into number two. Okay, so number two on the list, we have California Rustic by Asexual Sims on Tumblr. I have actually done a renovation of this house. I've done like an interior redo of this house on my channel before. It was quite a while back, but the video did really well. Um, it's, it's small, but, or it looks small, but it has four bedrooms and three baths. You just wouldn't guess from looking at this quaint little house, but the garage level is a floor, the middle level is a floor, and then obviously the top level is a floor. It's on a 30 by 20, mostly unfurnished, and this is the floor plan right here. So it's unfurnished, but I think that you can do many different styles of furnishing with this house, which was one of the things that I really, really liked about it. I just like the color of the outside, fairy lights again, and let's get right into game, and I'm going to show you guys how this house looks. Okay, so fitting to its name, this is what the California Rustic Lot looks like in-game. It's three levels, so the f ground level is technically the garage, but you also have a bedroom and a bath, as well as like a little study area. You do have a pretty nice backyard. You could probably fit a pool in, in a little patio. Uh, but if we go up to the middle floor, which is technically the main floor, we have the kitchen and the living room area. We have a little breezeway, a bedroom, and a bathroom, and then the staircase to the final floor, which has two bedrooms, one bath, and a two patios. You have a patio on the front and a patio on the back, and there's just a lot of patio space, and even from its small demeanor, looking at just the front of the, the lot in the front of the house, it's a lot bigger than you would think it is, and that's really one of the things that I love about this lot. So let's go into the next lot. Okay, so next up we have a community lot by Ruby Red Sims. It is called Sims 3 Shopping along Henderson Avenue. This is probably my favorite community lot that I've ever downloaded. The four lots in this video are two residential lots and two community lots that I currently have in my game. 
But Henderson Avenue is probably my favorite lot, residential or community, that I've ever had in my game. So, it, it's just so pretty. And I'm going to go in-game, obviously, like I have been, and show you guys what it looks like. But these are just some screenshots. It's basically a bakery, a wedding boutique, and then, like, kind of like a record slash library store. So, it's three different shops. And it's just so beautiful. I love taking pictures on this lot. I believe it is playable, but what I love to do in the Sims 3 is take pictures and post them on my Sims Instagram, which is at Cozy Pixels. It's at C O Z Y P Y X E L S. Link is in the description. I don't really talk about it a lot, but we're about to hit 5,000 followers over there, so I'd really appreciate if you could follow and you get beautiful pictures. So let's jump right into the game and I will show you guys the shopping center in its glory. Okay, so like all of Ruby Red's lots, this lot has a lot of clutter and takes a little while to load and to place. So what I'm going to do is actually enter the game the right way. Hold up, I was still in placement mode. We're going to enter build buy mode and I'm going to show you guys the lot. So the middle section is the bridal boutique. To the right is the bakery slash restaurant and to the left is the record and a bookstore. So let's let's take a little peek. It is completely furnished, just takes a second for everything to load in. Let's start with the bakery. Okay, so the only like part of the lot that uses the top top floor is the bakery. You have a little eating area uh, on the top floor and then you have like a little sitting area and loft with some bookshelves and the bathrooms located over here but if we go down to the middle floor everything or each section has you know it's a little thing uh the middle floor actually isn't taken by the bakery it's just taken by the staircase for the bakery but we have the bridal boutique which it's decorative but it's so beautiful even this little mirror in the details of like the pearls on the table and everything my game is a little laggy i apologize um but yeah and then we have the bookstore over here oh okay so what i realized is that there is a cupcake store as well so like the bookstore slash record stores in the middle and then we have like a little cupcake place uh so this is the rest of the bookstore the rest of the boutique the wedding boutique and then the rest of the bakery overall it just it has so much i really i'm not sure if it's playable but i think it is so that's really good because you have like all in one community lot for your sims not an all in one but you have a lot of stuff and it's just well decorated it's good for taking outdoor pictures it's good for taking indoor pictures it's good for story pictures and like i said this is my favorite lot that i've ever downloaded community or residential in the sims 3 Okay, and last but not least, we have number four in the second community law on this list. We have the Fall Leaves Wedding Venue. This is my go-to wedding venue for The Sims 3, uh, especially for pictures. So this is some of the screenshots for what it looks like. It's very detailed, very cluttered, and it's outdoors, which I love for wedding venues in The Sims. I feel like it has a more rustic vibe. So let's jump right into game because there's not very many screenshots. There's not much to say, but I will jump into game and show you guys what the lot looks like. Okay, so this is what the wedding venue, the fall wedding venue, looks like in-game. From the outside, it looks like a lot of trees, but then you zoom in and the lot starts forming. There's a lot of uh, landscaping and terrain tools that were used. Uh, so you have, like, the main ceremony area over here with lots of fairy lights, and then you have the reception area with just a bunch of tables and some food and a bar. So it's very simple. You're able to add stuff to it, obviously, make it more unique to your Sims wedding. But this is definitely my favorite wedding lot and one of my favorite lots in general. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social medias that are, as always, conveniently linked in the description below. As far as sponsors go, if you purchase anything from Into the AM or Glassy Eyewear, use code LOVELY. And if you purchase anything from Techni Sport, use code LEGITLOVELY. Have a great day, stay lovely, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everyone.